If you search right now on Google or Etsy, you will see thousands of people looking for customized products. But what most people don't realize is that this type of product is the most profitable you can make using a 3D printer. And here's a twist. You don't need to learn how to 3D model or spend hours studying that in order to get good results. In just a few clicks, I will show you how to use STL AI to create incredible customized products that you can sell with very good profits. All right, so I just entered Etsy using incognito mode, which means that Etsy doesn't know who I am. And I'm gonna give you a little tour to see how many customized products we can find, right? So as soon as we start to scroll down, we already have this wedding cake that has the name John and Nora. This is definitely something that is customized. We have a lot of cake toppers as well, which is something that we can try to explore in a little bit. And if we scroll down, we have another wall hanging here, which is customizable. A lot of the things that we saw here are customized. You see the, the brighter shower gift, custom text, Etsy strives on giving people the possibility of customizing these models before actually selling them. So it's definitely a big niche, a niche that they are betting on. And absolutely, it makes sense for us to bet on this niche as well, because since they have all the data of all the users, everybody that is purchasing from them, they know that these are the type of products that are selling really well, which means that if we are able to create products within that category, we are able to sell really well. However, there is a big problem when we think about customized products. And one of the reasons actually why they're so successful, it's because it's complex to make a customized product. Sometimes you need to make it by hand, you need to make it yourself. There's a lot of craft that goes into making a custom product. And this is where AI can help us to achieve these results easier, faster and in an accurate way. So now doing a quick tour here at STL AI, I'm gonna show you a few examples of products that you could make and you could create a listing on Etsy or whatever marketplace, or even on a booth that you are doing on a Maker Fair, it doesn't matter. You can create these listings and offer this as a service that would most likely give you more profit than if you were just selling a 3D print. Because when you sell a 3D print, you are selling something that other people might be selling as well. And when you do that, it's kind of hard to fight with the price because if someone is offering for less, the exact same product, you're going to this race to the bottom in order to see who can make the cheapest price, the customer will be happy, but none of the people that are actually selling these products are gonna be happy, all right? So now let's scroll here and see a few possibilities. So the roll with me is a good possibility. It's a meme, it's something fun that you could give a friend, that you could make as a prank, as a joke. I'm pretty sure that this, that would have a good appeal. I can definitely see people buying that to make pranks with, pranks with their friends. We have the Mini Me Gamer. Controller holders are a big thing, also on Etsy. Controller holders are a big thing. People do like to have their own controller holders. And here you have the possibility of customize to so make the face of your friend, make your own face on it. But it's a cool thing that you can sell. You can either put the pet in here, person's pet as, a, as the controller holder. And then we have the wine holders, which is the one that I'm gonna be doing the demo here because I feel that this product has potential. And I'm gonna tell you why. So if I search for wine bottle holder on Etsy, you will see a lot of very good results. I'm gonna put the filter here on something that is more than $15. So we do have uh, results that are not gonna be like these super cheap, kind of like rings that you put in the wine. We're gonna look for something that it has a little bit more value, which is also good when you're selling because it means that you have to do less sales in order to get the same amount of money or even more money, right? Okay, so when we scroll down, we start to see a few models. This one is STL Flix, by the way. This one, the store has 227 reviews, which means that this store has done at least 227 sales. From what we know, usually the reviews here, there are between 25 to 50% of the total purchases. So there is a possibility that this store has done more than 500 different sales, all right? And there are other stores here selling wine holders that they also have like a big quantity of reviews as well. This one is also 3D printed, it's called Useful Prints, but you can see for $24, this person is selling quite a bit. It has a few comments on it. There are reviews here, there are good reviews, so it means that people really like, and it has a lot of sales. All right, so by looking at these numbers, we can see that wine holders are items that people do like to purchase. But what if you can make wine holder with your own personal touch, with your own customization, that the person can send a photo of themselves and you make the wine holder that is the person 
holding a giant bottle of wine. And now I wanna show you how you can make one of those easily using SCLAI. All right, so going on the wine holder, in here you have a little video explaining on how to make, but I'm gonna show it to you right now. We have a few different versions of the wine holder, so you can start by clicking on try it now. Once you're here, you have to pick a photo to throw in here that you're going to generate using your own hat. Now I'm gonna take a photo of myself as if I was doing a lot of strength. Now I'm gonna throw this image right here and we are going to generate using one of my credits. All right, so now I have this 2D image of myself doing a lot of strength to kind of hold the bottle and I'm gonna generate the 3D using one of my credits. Now it's gonna load the 3D so you can look at the video to show you how to adjust it, but I kind of know how to do it myself. All right, so now that the 2D is done, I need to position the head in here in order to make the cut and make it become this customized model that I showed you. All right, so I'm gonna position it. I think I kinda wanna do a bubble head, so I wanna do it bigger than the actual indication that we have created, but I don't know. It's kinda feel like doing a little bit different this time. Let me rotate this a little bit. You can adjust all the angles that you want. Once you are done, you're gonna go and hit finish, that it's going to perform the cut and process the final model. All right, so now I have this model of myself doing a lot out of strength to kind of keep the bottle in place but the one that i really like in this entire set in here you can change you can be the greek god the greek goddess the cupid the cupid is a good one too but it kind of needs a different face but i do like the chef mayo the fact that he's really angry it's, it kind of resembles me like those um those chef series on the tv that the chefs are always very angry so i'm going to download this one and I'm gonna show you the last step of the process, which is to slice the whole thing in order to print this model. Okay, so now I have downloaded and I have here in this folder all the files that I need, and I'm gonna open a new project. Okay, so I'm gonna drag everything in in here. I'm gonna add all of these as 3MFs, and I'm gonna add multiple plates in here in order to plan this print, all right? I'm gonna make the body in one, together with the torso. The head is the one that I'm gonna be doing separately, but all the others, I can kind of do in this separate position right here. And as you can see, since this is a model made to be 3D printed, uh, it has a lot of different parts in here. It's optimized for 3D printing. And I have the AI generated model in here with a lot of quality, to be honest, which is the one that I will have to color myself. It's gonna give me a little bit more trouble to make, but all the rest is pretty basic, all right? So let me just show you how it's gonna work. So I have four colors available, so I'm gonna use my skin tone, black for my hair, white for the white of my eyes, and also for some of the details in the clothes, all right? So let's start. Okay, color number one, my skin tone, it's gonna be. Then color number two, white, black, that's what I said. And then I have this last color that, what is the color that I will be, well, let me start painting using these colors. And then if I need something else, I'll edit it. They have already been pre-designed to be printed in multiple colors, all right? So white for the torso, the neck is gonna be skin tone. Then I have the arm, the arm also, I'm gonna need this one to be white. Uh, the hand, gonna keep the skin tone. Uh, the other arm, I'm gonna give it a white on the clothes and the skin tone again in here i have the wooden plank which i'm gonna i'm gonna make it black uh, the hat it's gonna be white the pen is also gonna be black the shoes are gonna be black as well all right so there you go now i have the chef very well dressed and now i have to go on and paint our customized hat this is where it gets a little bit harder to make but it's not impossible at all so i'm gonna go and start painting the easier things first thing that i like to do is kind of see whether i can kind of solve most of my problems using the paint bucket and sometimes it's doable sometimes it's not in here uh, it's it's a good start i'd say it's a good start now i'm gonna go in and i'm going to clean this up a little bit so i'm gonna get my skin tone and i'm gonna clean this ear Something that is important is that sometimes you don't need to pay that much attention to things because they're going to be very small in 3D printing, so you don't really need to worry about them too much, okay?
One little tip that I always like to make is to create like a little bit of a highlight in the eyes, which I make and both facing the same side because after all the lights come from the same side on both sides. Okay, so now I have the face painted. I have the body being done in here and now it's time to print and I'll come back tomorrow to show you the results. And this is the end result of this wine holder that is customized with my own face that you can make as a product, as a service for your clients to make some extra cash as well. So these are just a few of the models that you can make using STL AI to give your customers the possibility of sending to you the photos and you can make the final product. This gives you the possibility of doing 3D prints with much more profit, with a lot of interest and potentially make hundreds of sales as I showed you on the listings before. Now that I showed you the entire process, let me know what you think about these style of products and if you think they're good to make a buck as well. Also, let me know if you think we should make a video on how to price these models. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and you can find the link of STL AI in the description below. I'll see you there. I'm very curious to see what you are going to create with this. Happy printing.